Intermarriage is rampant. Assimilation is taking over. At the rate we're going, the Jewish nation is going to be very small, God forbid. What do we do? Sit there and let it happen? Sit back and watch and say it wasn't my fault? What's there to be done? And the answer is quite simple. It's Jewish education. It is not that the average Jew today is rejecting something he studied or understands. He just hasn't been exposed to it. Jewish values, the study of Torah, the study of Judaism, it's so rich, so warm. It's a cold world out there. Judaism has so much to offer. People aren't rejecting it. They just haven't been exposed to it. The Jerusalem Kolo was founded for the sake of inspiring and giving the know-how to young men who have spent years in yeshiva to go out there and share the riches of Torah with the masses. Give them a fair chance. Let them be able to see what it is that they're considering rejecting and see what happens. Experience has shown that when exposed to real Torah, that when exposed to real authentic Jewish values, when engaged in the study of the basics of life, the Jew is proud and impressed. The Jew doesn't have to look elsewhere. That's what we're all about. At the Jerusalem Kol, young men come to their, I guess, finishing school and study what it takes to be a rabbi, all of the different responsibilities of a rabbi, whether it be Jewish law, whether it be the responsibilities within society, being there to counsel people, to advise people, to help them through whatever crises they're going through in life, as well as taking them through the entire life cycle. We also focus quite a bit on the way one deals with another human being within society. The Torah has a lot to say on that. Kalik this Kola was, was we get a shift in, in paradigm almost, where a Berkowitz is, yes, he's focused on the learning and that's what we do all day here. But his message, the underlying message and the, under, the currents of this Kola is one for Am Yisrael, for the Jewish people. He tells us what there is to be done out there. Come to this Kola, we kind of get a picture of what there is to be done, what, uh, what sorry state the Jewish people are in currently and how much we can do to help that. Rav Berkowitz himself, he's a visionary. He, he lives and breathes Am Yisrael. Uh, he's constantly challenging us and pushing us and demanding from us to be better, better people, uh, not for ourselves, but for the Jewish people. It's very easy to accept these messages from someone like him because one feels that it's completely genuine and his whole life is only for the Jewish people. He himself is a phenomenal individual and he gives up his whole life you know, 20 hours a day when he's not sleeping for the Jewish people. Coming to the Jerusalem Kolo is a completely different experience. This is a place with vision. There's a, there's a purpose for why you're here. This is a place that has a leader, somebody who's a role model, somebody who pushes himself to the limit in an incredible way. Every day just, just looking around at Berkowitz is an, is an inspiration. Here's a person who you can see he, he lives and breathes the vision of the Kolo, not only that, this is a Kolo where there's responsibility, there's tests all the time. You have to know, there is no program like this that I've seen that exists. It's taken me in a whole different level than I ever was before, and I am completely thankful that such a program exists. Over the past year since it was founded, we've sent out, what is it, close to 200 couples, for all the continents of the world, pretty much, We're all over the place, and they're making a difference. They're changing communities. Where they're serving as rabbis in communities that were dying, 
whether it's working in outreach centers or even founding their own. They're reaching the masses. People come, people hear. They hear how Judaism is relevant to their lives. The riches of Torah, it's just so wonderful. And people are remaining Jews and becoming more Jewishly aware. The demographic that I deal with is New York City, 27 years old and up, very successful. Um, the cream of the crop, officially. Also the most difficult demographic to be Makariv. Life's too good. There's no reason for them to pick up, go off to Israel, learn. They're very, very happy with where they are. They worked very hard to get there. And we're trying to offer people an authentic alternative to what they have right now in their lives. And yes, our task is difficult, but at this juncture, at this point in history, it is, as, it is more relevant than ever and more achievable than ever. We just need the people to do it, that's all. My name is Nisan Ahubim. I was born in Iran. At the age of six, I emigrated to Southern California. After graduating from the University of California, Irvine, I spent six years studying in Jerusalem, training for a career in Jewish outreach. Myself, along with three other rabbis, created an organization called Go Sephardic, with branches in Los Angeles, Toronto, Montreal, and New York. Today, we have brought over 2,000 students to Israel on trips that combine both spiritual aspect and having a good time as well. We have follow-up Shabbatons and classes in the host cities. And to date, many of our students have married Jewish, whereas before they were dating non-Jews. They are leaders in their own communities, attending classes, or even putting on events and classes. The reason for the success of our organization is leadership, passion, and real training. It's for this reason that I decided to come to the Jerusalem Kolel and nowhere else. So, I call upon all those who can, come be our partners. Come join us. Come join us in the war against assimilation, in the campaign for the future of the Jewish nation. Do what you can to reach so many Jews that are ignorant in Jewish values so that they too will remain within the family. They too will remain with their Judaism and not look elsewhere. Because once exposed to the true, authentic riches of Judaism, there's no need to look elsewhere. May we soon see the day that we can turn the tide on assimilation, where more and more Jews that have left will be coming back, where it will be obvious that no Jew leaves because what we've got is something we don't want to give up, something we don't want to let go of. May the state of the Jewish nation change soon in our days, and may you be part of that. May you be part of making that happen. Thank you.